Hey y'all, I am back. And today we're going to start a tie-dye sock business. So the first thing you're going to need is a pack of cotton socks. I found these for $3.99, six in a pack, great deal. Next, you're gonna get your dyes, which you can order online or you can get at the dollar store, Walmart, or a fabric store or a hobby store. Then you're gonna need rubber bands, gloves, plastic bag, a container, or you can use a flattened cardboard. Then you're going to, I'm gonna use two colors, which is green and blue. So you're gonna wrap the rubber bands, you're gonna soak your socks first in water, then rinse them out. And the next thing you're gonna do is mix up your water and your dye, shake it, shake it, shake it. Then you're going to add your, put your rubber bands around your socks. You can use two or three as you see I'm doing here. Then you're gonna add your colors, green, blue, green, blue, or whatever colors you wanna use, okay? Next, after that's done, you'll take your socks and put them in a bag carefully to soak overnight. And that way the color will set in and be brighter. Next thing you're gonna do is, after that's done, rinse them out, let them dry. Then when they're done, you can sit down and price your product out for a profit. So you're going to, you can also look around and see what the market can bear. What are other companies selling them for? Like Nike sells them for like $12 to almost $22. Adidas sells them. There's many companies that sell tie-dyes. Okay, so you can just look around or you can sit down and price them out like I do. So I add up my supply costs, which are, again, my dye bottles cost $1.25 per. And I only use a half a bottle on each for my, um, for my socks. So then I also add up how much my socks cost, which is like $1.25 per sock, per pair of socks. And my gloves and my rubber bands and my labor time, okay? Then I decide how much profit I wanna make. So here I wanna make $3 profit. So I'm going to charge $7.50 per sock. You can do it, you can do whatever you wanna do, okay? Now, after that, you can um, make a cute little commercial for your product, start selling them on Etsy, Facebook, Pinterest, and also, or just take a product pic, which is really cute, okay, and post it on social media. Or you can start selling your products at a pop-up shop, networking event, or at the auction. And the best flex of all is selling to strangers. So go ahead out there and get your business started. And good luck, guys.